Now, once upon a time, a guy came to me. He says, Pastor, I want to go for youth service and I um, want to, um, you to pray for me so that my journey into youth service will be fruitful. I said, that's not how it works. Because most people um, outsource their responsibilities and believe that it is summed up in a pastor's prayer. As powerful as our prayers are, I need to show you how it works. I told him, you need to go to God and extract a promise from God. Then when you extract a promise from God, come to pastor. Because you need to believe in the Lord your God in order for you to be established. But you need to believe in his prophets. God has given us the ability to bequeath to you what it takes for you to flourish. What it, the circumstances and situations that will be conducive for the word of God that you have received to come to pass, we can bless you with that. So the guy went and took a fast and he came back and said, I don't understand. God spoke, but I don't understand. He gave me a scripture. And what was the scripture? The scripture was that the cruise, you know that scripture that um, Elijah told the widow woman? He said, the barrel of meal shall not waste and the cruise of oil shall not fail. Hallelujah. I, say, I, I think um, the word is clear. The cruise of oil. <laughs> it shall not fail. So when he came with that word, I blessed him. Go and prosper. In the light of these words that the Lord has given unto you. And he went to the place. He happens to be an expert in, in mathematics. So he began to teach mathematics. And, and um, the, the keg that he came with, the keg of palm oil that he came with, um, when it's about to run out, then one of the guys he's teaching will feel the sense of responsibility to send him palm oil. And he tops that keg, all right? So he kept topping it for one year. The, the first time he successfully emptied the keg of palm oil was his passing out parade day. So the cruise of oil did not fail according to the word of God. If we're talking about the foundations of faith, then we need to ask you, because you, many of us think faith comes by hearing and hearing by the Bible. And then you believe that everything that is in the Bible is for you. No. It is that which God takes out of the pages and applies, furnishes upon your heart that is yours. Faith is very personal. Faith is self-centered. Faith, faith, are you with me? Yes. Very personal. There can, a, a declaration can go forth and it goes forth in the congregation like this. Whether or not it's appropriated in your life is whether or not you are in alignment with the Holy Spirit to apply that on your heart. When it's applied upon your heart, it stops being a general thing. It becomes a personal.